Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to uh, design our profile page for our application. In the previous video, we discussed about how to protect uh, our uh, API, and in this video, we'll design the mm, user profile. So, we have a profile component for our application. If I go to resources, assets, uh, JS component, here is our profile component. So, what I'm going to do is we will write everything we need in this. Uh, component here so first of all I will just remove this line of code plus I will remove the card from here let's save it and of course in the background I am running the npm run watch to compile everything down and then if I come here it should we should this we should uh, put an, a widget here if you go to the demo of the admin lt3 there are some user profile widgets that we can use if you go to widget uh, this one is what I'm going to use and I think this one is a bit nice so it will display the user profile here then the sales we do not have sale but maybe in future if we add some feature we can add them as well like follower and following I am deciding to add the follower and following for the user but for now we will just add them so here is the widget card if I right click go to copy copy element I will come here and I will write it instead of this one so it will should take like the 12 column from the our application so I will paste it just indent it a little and let's see how it looks like if I save it this time we refresh our page so I am in the profile it shows nothing if I go to inspect element and see we have two errors maybe these are because of the images or something that we are missing yeah these images do not exist that's why it gives us an error for now i will not write any image for the user okay and of course this one should not be also written here for the background image if i remove it for now just save it and refresh our application just want to have no error for now yeah we do not have any error it will display the user like this of course we will design it more first of all in here i will say m3 3 or margin top 3 it is a bootstrap class so if i come here and refresh the page it should display the uh, the card here a little down so this is fine for now now we will display a background image for this one for the background of the user i will just um, statically or just hard code the the image but for the user profile we will upload once we upload it it will change it here so if you learn how to upload a user profile you can learn how to upload the background too that's easy because in our database of in the database in the user table we have one field for only storing the user uh, photo so that's why i will not do the other one so let's start doing it first of all here is the style and if you just say background images going to equal to a uh, url and url is of course a function here we will just write down we, we, we say like this it is going to be in the same directory just go to let's put an image first of all if i go and grab an image i have downloaded from unsplash so i will come to lera oops I start here in the public image i will put it here i will say that uh, user cover for now we just put it as user cover and later we can change it any way we want so let's see how you can uh, reference it in vue.js for now if i say go from uh, current directory go to the image and then from here just go to let me check yeah it was the inside this one we have user cover that jpg so if i save it this time let's see yeah it compiled down successfully but if i refresh it here if we have done it correctly so it should show the image but yeah it is correctly sh showing the image so how this is going to work you just say from the current directory go to image what it is going to do is 
Current directly for them, it means that you are in the public. From the public, they are going to the image and then they display it here. That's why it, it works like that. So again, if I come here and inspect element for this one, you know where it is going. So assuming that, yeah, if I hover over this one, it is going to the local host and going to the image and user cover from here. And then we can add some more style to this one. You know, we have widget user header. So what I'm going to do is I come down here. Here is the script. Above the script, I will just write a style. Or what the, what else you can do? There are some people who write their script at the top. It does not have to be like in the bottom. You can write the style here. So what I'm going to say is this is the header and we say BG background position should be center center and bg size should be cover if i save it this time let's refresh our page and it should display the image uh, properly because we want most of the image to be displayed here so far yeah it looks something like this again you can uh, design it however you want for now it is just fine and you know it should display image in the nice way but the images be a little big that's why it does not display it correctly again you can give it a little height here is the height they gave us so what we can do is we can give it a height of 300 pixel yeah it looks a lot better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say it has a height of 250 pixel so this time if i refresh it it should display the user image here these are uh, basic design stuff oops i think it didn't take the height from here so it's fine for now of course we, we can fix it later but the thing is we should display user information under this one how you are going to display user information if you go to the admin LT here uh, going to the pages we have user profile so for user profile if you go to the setting you have the name email all of the these things like this so this is how we are going to display our information here for example if you go to user profile you have to have a tab uh, for activity timeline and all sorts of, sorts of stuff like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video and put all of these things there then we will i will come back because this is just designing and it does not have any you don't need to have a um, knowledge of something so it is basic stuff so i will do it behind the scene here you are i have designed it a little bit uh, of course you can put a little gradient at the top of the image using css i did it in photoshop so that is easy for us because we are not going to work on the design too much for now plus i did um, i removed some of the spacing here for this one for the follower and i put all the uh, the necessary field we have here we have we need the name and we need the email we need the experience then we need a user profile and then password if the leave is empty we will not change otherwise we will change their password and put it as a hash so this is basic like there is an activity tab here we can display the other activity maybe in the future for now it is fine like we have only the sitting so this is what we have so far in the next video we will learn how we can uh, bind it in the form and how we can display user information the current user who is logging so see you in the next video